Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, is this a solid beer or do we have to go back to the drawing board? Woody Yank is a 5% wheat ale from Drafting Table Brewing Company in Wixom, Michigan. So far, this has been the summer of the lighter beer. Now, I've been doing these videos for about two years, and I can't really remember a time since I've been paying attention to beer where I've seen so many releases around that 6% ABV range and under. Now, I talk a lot about the old days of craft beer where everything was in that 45 to 6% ABV range, and it almost feels like there's a shift in beer where we're starting to go back to that. Generally, when I think of lower ABV beers these days, I don't usually think of Big Taste being in that equation. But before we had all these double dry hopped, you know, juice bombs, all that stuff, all the classic styles that we're all used to and we love, we're all great tasting too. And I'm hoping that this summer of lower ABV and great tasting beers continues with this beer here today. So let's take a look at Witty Yank. Well, first we'll look at the label, we'll pour it into a glass and see if this one is worthy of a pickup. Fun fact, wheat ales are called that because that's usually the predominant kind of malt that's used in this style. Wheat has more protein than barley, which causes thicker heads, more haze, and a silkier mouthfeel. So let's take a look at the label like we usually do. We'll start on the top, says Draft On, has the address of drafting table 4943 Pontiac Trail in Wixom, Michigan. The label itself is a really cool, classic uh, looking label. I noticed that drafting table, they always have their logo right up top, front and center. It says Wixom, Michigan Drafting Table Brewing Company. And this is Witty Yank, an American wheat ale brewed with coriander and zest from grapefruits and oranges. It has uh, some some kind of cross sections of grapefruit in here. And then on the side, it says brewed and canned by Drafting Table Brewing Company, draftingtablebeer.com. Witty Yank is a thirst quenching pale wheat ale. It is brewed with coriander and zest from oranges and grapefruit, making it very light and refreshing in flavor. Bartender's tip. There's a tip for you guys. Bartender's tip, this beer makes an excellent beer mosa. Pour it on top of a few ounces of orange juice to make it the perfect brunch beer. And I'm not gonna do that here today, but also has 5% alcohol by volume. And it says, enjoy from a, from a glass. And it has one of these kind of pint glasses. And the thing that I really like about drafting tables labels is that they put a bitterness scale on it with these hop cones. Five hop cones kind of tells you how bitter you should expect the beer to be. This has half a hop cone worth of bitterness. So it's not, you shouldn't expect it to be too bitter and there's no no brood on date on these cans. I don't think that uh, Drafting Table has been putting brood on dates, but this one cost me $2.59 for a couple singles, $2.59 a piece, obviously. Uh, but this, I believe, was, was canned really relatively recently. Wheat ales you can kind of sit on for a little longer. This one's probably about a month old at the most. So let's go ahead and pour this. Actually get a nose out of the can here. Picking up a lot of citrus, a lot of, um, a little bit of like a, maybe like a red grapefruit, like a ruby red kind of grapefruit smell. Maybe getting a tiny hint of coriander, but I'm also getting a little bit of that kind of classic wheat ale smell as well. A little bit of citrus. Let's go ahead and pour this. Coming very clear out of the can, a lot clearer than I was kind of expecting it to be. I think I was kind of figuring it to be a little bit more orange. And as we pour it, a nice white head is forming there. Uh, we got about a finger, maybe two fingers worth of head. Really nice white head. Um, as you can see from the overhead, very bright white. And the beer itself, as you can see from the upper shot of the, the split screen, this is a really yellow colored beer. Let's go ahead and the, the head's actually dissipate. It's hanging on, but it's kind of shrinking relatively quickly. I was expecting it maybe to hold on a little bit longer and holding it up to the light. This is a really bright yellow, hazy beer. Again, it's a wheat ale, something to be expected. Let's get a better nose on the glass here. Again, I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting a wheat kind of um, typical wheat smell. It has a really clean, crisp smell to it. Getting a little bit of a grapefruit scent, but I think I was getting a little bit more out of the can, a little bit different kind of grapefruit. That's not so much of the ruby red that I'm picking up on this. It's more just kind of the zestiness. So I'm ready to dive right into that. Looks beautiful. Cheers. Getting a really crisp, clean taste. A lot of the grapefruit zest is coming up in the forefront. On these big swallows like this, it's a, there's a lot of bursting flavor. 
Um, when it hits my tongue, initially I get that kind of grapefruit taste, a little bit of a bitterness, a tiny bit of a bitterness, but it's very crisp, very refreshing. And then on the tail after I take a nice big swallow, that's when I'm getting this real orange sweetness that kind of comes through and a little bit of that bitter zestiness um, from the from the, the the peel of the orange, the pith of the orange at the very tail end. I'm recording this on July 7th. It's been super hot, as you guys know, over these last couple days. We got a break today. This is the perfect, um, these kind of beers like this, lower ABV, 5% beers, are the perfect, really super hot weather beers to drink because they don't drain you too much when you when you you know you're sitting out in the heat, you're doing something outside, or you're just outside in the heat, and then you have these beers. And sometimes if you have something that's too heavy, it just kind of drains you. You don't want to do much more. You just kind of want to sit there and relax and not do a whole lot. This, you know, you can drink it. It's very crisp, very refreshing, very clean tastes. Uh, like I said, a lot of that kind of grapefruitiness up front, a little bit of the zestiness, and then on the swallow you get a lot more of that kind of orange sweetness. I guess I do pick up on a tiny bit of coriander, but I'm not a, a massive like coriander guy. I can't really tell you all the ins and outs of coriander, but it has this kind of crackery, biscuity, malty flavor in there, almost bready. And it's like I said, it's just very crisp. It just kind of all clicks together. This is really nice wheat beer. Again, this summer, summer of 2019 has been those really crisp, really clean, lower ABV beers that I've tried at least so far this summer. Um, I can't really find a lot of faults with this one. You get a lot of you get a lot of flavor. Again, 5%. We're all used to these classic styles or before everybody started getting into these crazy, fruity, juicy IPAs. You know, we were used to these kind of styles and they never complained about flavor in the past, right? I never had an issue with any kind of flavors of the traditional classic styles, and I don't have any issues with this one either. It's a nice kind of twist with that, with that really um kind of upfront uh grapefruit taste, and then the the back end that that kind of orange sweetness and orange peel zest. This is a really great companion for these really warm weather days. It's going to be in the mid to you know upper 80s for the rest of this week. I think we're going to get another break tomorrow, but this is the perfect beer for that because you can sit, drink a couple, you know, in between sessions of doing something outside or if you're, you know, out playing golf or something like that. This is a really great beer for that because it it's refreshing. It's not only crisp, it not only has a lot of great taste, but it's very refreshing and drafting table, you know, the last couple of beers I've had from them I have had no issue with. I've been actually really impressed with the quality of their Beer, and I think if you find this on shelves, you 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 know you shouldn't worry about quality or the taste. This is a really good, really nice warm weather beer. All right, friends, that has been Witty Yank from Drafting Table in Wixom. If you happen to find yourself in their tap room drink, drinking a Witty Yank, mention you saw their beer right here. So have you had this beer? Are you a wheat ale fan like me? Do you have a favorite wheat ale? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer, mostly Michigan beer. I think I'm going to start switching it up. Got to start figuring out what I want to do, but I'm going to figure out at some point, but I'm going to do it twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for free for viewers like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed to the channel, and I would hate for that to happen. Also, I want to start incorporating your questions into these episodes, so leave any questions you have about beer, anything, on the Draft Therapy Hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. I'll show some of your questions on some upcoming videos. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.